and I thought why not house one on like a basic setup and then we'll house the other on a setup like I would do now. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a rehousing, but it's a little bit different than usual, okay? Oh my God, there's people parking next to me. I can't do this. Oh, the air is on, sorry. It's like 97 degrees and I'm turning the air off to talk to you guys without interruption, but. <laughs> okay, so basically like three or four years ago, I purchased these itty bitty little T. albopilosis slings and I think it's time to rehouse them. I thought it would be a little bit fun to go to the pet store and just kind of buy an entire setup like I used to, like my care then versus now, I guess, and just kind of show like the difference or the progression and like how my care has changed in about four years time. First, we need to go into a pet store and what's worse than PetSmart right maybe Petco I don't know we're going to PetSmart the most basic pet store at least here a lot of people when they first get their tarantula are gonna end up at a store like this so why not go for old times sake buy all the supplies and just set it all up and and we'll just compare them and it's gonna be fun so let let's go do that Oh my god, it's terrible. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we need to get some treats for Iggy while we're here. She loves sponges. Oh my god, this is so cute, dude. She will love that. No, wait, she loves these. For sure. She's so spoiled. She already has like most of this. That's cool. Oh my god, she'll love that. They're out of the medium or the small critter keeper, which is the size I want to do, but I do have one at home, so we'll just use that. $40! <laughs> so expensive to buy pet store stuff like that. Later. Okay, so we are back, and before we get into the rest of the video, I did want to give some shout outs to some new patrons. I have Daisy here with me to help. So thank you so much to my new patrons, Allison, Aaron, Rose, Daniela, Jenna, Lena, Tammy, Jax, Desiree, Ashley, Ariel Exotic, Melina, Cobweb Castle, Bridget, Mia, Sophie, and Megan. Thank you guys so much for joining my Patreon and for the extra support. And Daisy is just now warming up. Look at her. All right, so I pretty much went into PetSmart and I bought every basic tarantula thing that I could think of. So first of all, I already had one of these, so priced this at like $8.99, very nice. And then I also bought cocoa fiber. You need to leave. So when I made that video a while ago talking about like people complaining about my husbandry, at least Dave doesn't keep them in fanariums on cocoa fiber. And then I got a lot of questions from people saying, why are critter keepers bad and why is cocoa fiber bad? They're not, there's nothing wrong with these. There's nothing wrong with these. A lot of keepers use critter keepers. Even Tom Moran uses critter keepers, okay? So there you go. Critter keepers are fine. Your tarantula does not care if it's in a critter keeper or if it's in a nice tarantula cribs or an exoterra, it doesn't matter. So here's a critter keeper. Now, I used to use Eco Earth a lot, and the reason why I stopped is because I found something that works better for me. Does cocoa fiber do a good job? Yeah, it does a fine job, but it also molds a lot. Part of that is because I live in a very humid area, especially in the spring and the summer. It gets so humid here. This kind of substrate does not fare as well as others. I don't think it's the best at holding humidity, but will it get the job done? Yes. Are you a bad keeper if you use it? No. I got this plant. This is the most basic plant. I hate this plant. To be fair, I'm just sick of looking at it. I've had it so much. I've used it so many times. It was in so many enclosures. I can't stand it. I hate this plant. But does your tarantula care? No, they can't see it. They don't care. A coconut hide. This one's plastic. 
It's small and dark and has a little opening your tarantula can go inside. And an expensive little rock looking water dish. Um, this one's a hermit crab bowl, but it, it's the same concept. $4 for this. For the same price, you can go to Dollar Tree and get four glass water dishes. Does your tarantula care if it's drinking out of this or if it's drinking out of this? No, it does not care. So I have had these two tarantulas for a very long time. I actually bought them as itty bitty little slings and as you see they've gained a little bit of size they're still pretty small but they've grown substantially since when i got them you know they both came from the same egg sac and i thought why not house one on like a basic setup and then we'll house the other on a setup like i would do now i guess something with a little bit more like skill and we can see like which they prefer over time i guess this is not like you know a legitimate study. This is just for fun. So let's put the first enclosure together. Of course we are going to be using a Critter Keeper with a purple lid because I like purple. And we've got our cocoa fiber here ready to go. It's been so long since I've used cocoa fiber, especially just pure cocoa fiber. I actually really like the texture and the feel of it. It's very soft and squishy. Very dusty though. And although it looks dry, it does kind of feel like it has a little bit of humidity to it, which is actually a a plus. So here is our cocoa fiber. Next, let's put in a hide. We've got the coconut. I wish this was one of the real coconut ones. I do have some, I think, in my closet somewhere. This is a little large for the enclosure, but it's fine. Our $4 water dish and our very basic stock plastic plant. Mm, it doesn't fit. I wonder if I should just break off a piece. I actually, when I did use these, I would pull off the little pieces like this. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we have our basic little setup ready to go. But first we're going to set it aside and we will set up the other enclosure. All right, here we go. We have the, I think this is the medium slider. Yeah, this is the medium slider. It has the nice little magnetic top thick, very nice high quality acrylic. So this is a high end product. Now instead of the coconut fiber, we are going to use Reptisoil. This is a blend of humus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Peat moss, sand, and carbon. I know Reptisoil has its haters too. Like there's really not that much to fight about in housing tarantulas. It really comes down to arguing over what dirt is best. Do we really need to do that? Do we really need to argue about that? Just wondering. But anyway, if we, if we had to argue, I would say rub the soil is the best. Let's just go ahead and compare. So this is the cocoa fiber and then this is the reptisoil. You can see like the consistency differences. I mean, it is definitely a difference, but it's more of a preference uh, in my opinion. It's not about which is better. It's just a preference. So as for the hide, we are going to use just a basic piece of cork bark. This is not really something I knew existed so much when I first started keeping tarantulas. So that was like a later find. And I think the cork bark is like more of the fun part of putting an enclosure together because you can really use a good piece of wood or a good piece of cork to get inspiration for like the whole, for the whole like look of the enclosure. But yeah, doesn't that look nice? This water dish might be a little bit too deep, but I'm not going to fill it up. I'm just going to put it in for like the sake of, you know, comparison, but I'm probably not going to fill it up. And then instead of that ugly plastic plant, we have a real pothos leaf that I actually just dug up out of one of my pots. Put that right on in here. I have had pothos do really good in this reptis soil also. I don't think it would do as well in the uh, coconut fiber, but I haven't really tried, so I, I couldn't tell you for sure. So we're not done just yet. We're also gonna just add a pinch of this moss. And we'll put it over here by the water dish. And also a little bit of leaf litter. And finally, just some springtails. And there we go, let's compare. So here is exactly how I would have set up an enclosure about four years ago. And then this is how I set up my enclosures now. It's funny because the fake plant has the same coloring as the golden pothos. <laughs> Never really noticed that before, but now I see. Now, something I really wanna stress here is that the tarantula really does not care and will thrive in both of these setups. And I'm gonna prove it to you by putting them both in them. So I just really like that progression though. Like, look at that. It's like a glow up, you know what I mean? Like, again, there's nothing wrong with this. It doesn't matter, but this looks so 
good. It looks so good and it's so appealing. Keep in mind, this is for us. This really is for us. It looks pretty for us. But obviously one does look better over the other, so I understand that. So let's go ahead and do these rehousings. First we will do my little eco earth enclosure. I am gonna remove this water dish though because it is huge and unnecessary. So we will go ahead and put this one in. Man, I cannot believe how big these have gotten. Okay, sorry girl. We are doing the uh, dead weight kind of thing. That, this is probably the most stubborn freaking curly hair I've ever had to rehouse. She knows it's the cocoa fiber. She said, no, I don't want to get off this. There she is. There she goes. So there she is. She's still pretty small for this enclosure, but that's fine because she has plenty of room to grow. We'll mist it a little bit, but yeah, all right, cool. One down, one to go. That one's not as dramatic. All right, so you get the mansion. Lucky you. I feel bad pushing them around. There you go, nice new enclosure. It's, <laughs> it's still a little big, but it looks good, it looks good, all right. Take a little walk. Stretch. So let's go ahead and close that up. And it's going right into its hide. How about you? Yep, this one went right into its hide also. Wow, you can definitely tell there's already differences going on. But yeah, okay, so I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, while one does definitely look better than the other, do you think the tarantulas really care? However, we do have this little experiment. Let's see how they do. Um, my guess, my theory, is that they will do exactly the same, but I'll keep you guys posted for sure. So that is my enclosure husbandry glow up, I guess. Maybe we'll do this again in another four years and see the differences. <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram, it's probably way too much of that turns to that cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, and it's all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.